there's cheap bacon, there's quality bacon, and then there's homemade bacon. Here I will show you how to do it. The process starts with choosing the cut of pork you're gonna use. For this video I chose the classic cut, but if you want to make like English bacon, you will need a piece of fillet. The process is the same. The purpose of curing is flavor and preservation, and for this you use salt, sugar and spices. I use ordinary salt and nitrite salt. Here nitrite salt is a mix of normal salt and 0.6% nitrite. I have chosen to dry salt this time. Dry salting will draw out fluids from the meat and give you a more firm result versus brining it. A lot of flavors can be added to your bacon when you make it yourself. This is the basics, but try adding like thyme, allspice and or juniper. The mix I use I will add to the description. After I mix the salt, sugar and spices, I cover the meat as much as possible and then vacuum packing it. Then in the fridge for 72 hours where I turn the bag every day. You will be surprised how much water etc. is withdrawn from the meat. After this I will wash off all the excess salts from the surface and put the meat on a grate to dry in the fridge for at least 24 hours. After this it's time to smoke it. Beach is classic here, but I rarely use that. I like to add additional flavors and often use old oak barrels that have stored different kinds of liquor for several years. The more the merrier. I always cold smoke my bacon, which means the temperature must be under 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. For the matter of time, the longer the smoke, the stronger the flavor. I normally smoke it around 30 to 36 hours. After this I let it age for 14 days in the fridge before using the bacon. It lets the flavor settle in the bacon and gives the best smooth bacon to eat. If you have any questions about this feel free to ask me in the comments. Enjoy!